all right guys welcome back to another video today we're playing jack's top lane once again in the new patch we're playing versus tom Kinch top and for the runes we got conquer triumph alacrity last end we got biscuits delivery and then also the cosmic insight so today we're running into the tom Kench matchup which is an insanely good one because i can buy blade of Tarun king into this matchup and no matter how tanky tom Kench is going to be i can shut him down so easily like, plus it's a matchup where I can just, like, power farm and scale. We'll see it for yourself. The, uh, probably the hardest part of the matchup is that I'm uh, getting autos and queued in the early game. But that's avoidable because I can block his auto attacks from my Counter-Strike. Wait a second. I don't want to go for a Q here because if I do so, without my uh, Counter-Strike, I'm actually going to lose a trade. Nice. Smart guy. He's actually waiting for the... Okay. So the trick to winning the matchup is to play really aggressive, play around your wave, and most importantly, you try and cast your E as late as possible. So the mistake that a lot of people make in the matchup is they use their E in midair. You don't want to do that, okay? You want to jump in, you hit your E as late as possible, so you can block as many auto attacks as you can, okay? The more you block, the better it is. So let me uh, let me show you what I mean here. Because Tom Kench only does damage through his auto attacks, and then uh, next few are from the Q and the knockup. I'll just to shove in this wave. I'm just casting it so I can block the incoming auto. Okay, now we go back here. Let's hope he's not going to freeze the wave. Yeah. Okay, first things first. Let's go for long sword. Let's keep it this way. Okay, so um, uh, typically when you play Jax in top lane, you're always going to be building Trinity Force as a first item. Typically against most matchups, you're going to do that. But um, in the like Tom Kench matchup, like Orn matchup, Malphite matchup, anything that is a massive tank, you have to build Blade of Throne King. And you can also build Blade of the New King into Bruiser matchups. There's nothing wrong with this. It's just that, like, in a tank matchup, you don't have much of a choice. You have to go for Blade, because it gives you the most damage. If they go full tank, but you go Blade, you directly counter them through build. I think we got a kill here. No, we don't. He's got Teleport, so... Really bad for me. Okay. You know what? Let's choose. Wow, I lost that one. Let's choose to reset the stuff. And hopefully we can get our wave under tower. That's our, that's our objective currently. So we can actually reset ourselves too and get more items. Okay. This needs to get on our tower. I'm going to force everything that I have. Unfortunately, it didn't work. It didn't work. We still have it in front of his tower. We're getting countered by his teleport. Wait, I can still try. Block autos. This is actually really bad for me. The teleport's making the difference again, okay, that's... Teleport is making a very big difference. I'm getting wrecked by that, so... Basically, what happened, I can explain it in short, um... Is... We could buy the recurve bow. So, uh, allow me to explain what happened here. So, I... Was... Very unlucky. I didn't kill him 1v1. He actually lived off with like 5 HP or something like that. Something... Something very low. What happened was he teleported... Got back to full HP, back with full mana, and he got more items against me. So, I basically automatically lose that stuff. So, the only option for me... He's still here? I can't go through that. I have to go back top. Um, so, that basically made him win. It's literally teleport difference. Okay, I've got my cannon. We're fine, though. We're fine. We will fix this. 
I need to cancel the back port. That's the only job I have right now. Let's cancel that back port. I have to cancel it. Nice. Instantly go back. So he didn't reset this time, which means that I have really good items against them. My items are really good. I have more than him. Again, he can't reset. He can't do that. Let's just quickly push this in. I have to figure out if he actually does reset or not. Really hard push. Nice. A good chance he might stay, a good chance he won't. Seems like he actually did reset, so I'm getting a play for free right now. So, he did kill me before, but it's not that bad for me. Because even though that Tom Kench beat on me in a 1v1 after the teleport play, I'm still getting the wave under tower, so he's losing all of the XP right here. And I also got a plate against him, so my lead is back. I'm actually back in the game already. Oh, let's make it back. Unfortunately, we are reaching a point right now where Tom Kench is actually buying HP, and buying HP early game is more efficient than buying damage. So we've, we're reaching a point now where Tom Kench is uh, uh, kind of outscaling me. Not for long, at least. It's not for long. Like, not really outscaling, but he's just slightly stronger right now. That's all it is. Okay, I'm gonna hold this lane here. You wanna know why? It's because we have a Valdebeer in top lane. He's taking blue buff right now. So I'm gonna hold this lane here. I have lifesteal, so I can sustain up. I'm not casting my E. Because I want to try and save my mana. There we go. I keep holding Tom Kench in this awful position. Sidestep. Okay, this guy's done. And there you go. Problem solved. I noticed that my jungler was nearby. So what do I do? I keep forcing Tom Kench in a position by freezing the wave that he needs to stay close to my tower. And that's how we beat him. 1v1. There you go. And we can get another plate. Plate number two. In fact, I think we might even get a third one. Yep. Three plates. While losing 1v1 at around 4-5 minutes, we have more farm than him. In fact, we have about 30 more. Um, let me check. Yeah, we have almost we almost have 30 more than him. Let's go for more damage. So, I'm just going to go for that one. Okay. And let's make it back here. So now he's got Giant Spell, he's got Ruby Crystal, and he also has base health region. Now that's this is all fine with me. I'm about to finish off my Blade of Throne King. If I can finish my Blade right now, I will always be able to 1v1 him for the rest of the game. Blade is super OP into tank matchups like Tom Kench. Check this out. We will have a free win on our hands right now. Check it out. By the way, we're noting they have a Nocturne. Ooh. That's cute. Well, the end of the nice one. Uh, they have a Nocturne. That means he can R top lane. Without me being able to see him. I'm thinning out the wave because it's a little bit too massive. I'm staying behind the wave so that the Q doesn't apply on me. Remember the Nocturne. There you go. I also try and cast another auto in between my combo so I can deal more damage that way. And this time I refuse to go for the next plate. Wanna know why? Because I think that the teleport from Tom Kench is back right now. Yep, it is. Figured out. 
I knew his teleport was back. That's why I don't go for plate. If I were to stay for that plate, I would get no plate. And I also could not reset anymore because he would teleport and force me to stay again like uh, like he did around 3-4 minutes in the game. So, Got a challenge for you. when you recognize that your opponent has teleport, you have to go back as fast as, pa uh, as, fast as possible in these cases. Now we have blades. It's over. We win. Again, we go in. Whoops, I could have had like a free auto attack. The wave is still pushing towards me. I'm gonna buy team at right now, by the way. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Again, a really solid trade. I'm gonna walk back once more. I keep letting the wave bounce into me. And then soon enough, I will buy team at. Keep holding. I'm putting points in my Q so I can Q more. If you're curious about that. I much rather have the Q be lower cooldown than my E uh, for the, for all the stats you gain for it. Only when I play against Trindamir or something, I, I go for the E, uh, e max after W. Keep holding. Okay. Nice. I'm uh, I'm very happy with what's going on here currently because I need like 500 more to get Tiamat. If I have Tiamat, I can farm between towers incredibly easy. Ooh, we got that. We have two people about to move top lane. See how far we can get, because I got my teammates here. Yep, he's gonna arm him. Yeah, that's unfortunately that's that's a problem about Tom Kenshin, but it does mean that we can dive him under tower. Uh, doesn't seem very killable to me. Okay, this is where the entire game is about to change. Now check out what's about to happen here. I love this part of the game, okay? You thought that blade, like buying blade was fun? Well, forget about that now. There's something way more fun about this game. What we can do right now is we can... Um, let's go top lane. What we can do right now is we can use Blade for the 1v1 and then we can use Tiamat to AoE clear top lane jungle camps. We can push mid, top, everything all at the same time. Tom Kench is a tank. He doesn't have good wave clear. Tom Kench has really bad wave clear. So we always win. Our wave clear is so much better right now. So check this out. We are going to double against this farm very soon. We're, we're, going, to be, uh, we're going to be scaling hard right now. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ignore Tom Kench because he's running Warmox. I will never beat him anymore. Warmox is allowing him to heal all the time. I'm just going to push down the lane. And then we rotate. And then we push it again and then we rotate. We do that consistently the whole game until we outscale him through farming. That's how we're going to do it. Got my teammates here. Should be okay. Man, he has a lot of damage. Seven kills? I didn't realize the Talon was seven kills in. Alright. Well, I have an item. It's called Steel Caps. Let's go. How much damage precisely coming from that stuff? He did 1.3 in like what? A couple seconds. We have a challenge out of us here. I am losing a uh, pretty large amount of farm too because of what happened. <clears throat> I 
No worries. We've had an interesting early game. We've had a really good early game, actually. Now we just got a, a push elite in a mid late game. We have an advantage over Talon here. Should be okay. Let's instantly push the next one. Like I said before, we will be pushing the whole game. That's our answer here. Very interesting how he's going to play more aggressive now. Uh, he's going to steal it. Oh, nice. I was blocked away so I couldn't place a ward down. Okay. The thing is right now, I don't know where the Nocturne is. That means that I can't push. Like I typically do. Showing now. Again, he's going to knock me into the um, tower. What? Okay. You have war marks, buddy. Never thought I would be killing a Tom Kench with a war marks. I'm scaring him off. Now I walk away. No, I'm not gonna use that. Uh, everything gets stolen away from me this game. It's really sad. So far my strategy is working, but... The only problem is that everything is getting stolen away from me. <laughs> Wait up uh, just a second here, and we can buy it. Okay, we got Blade, and we now have Titanic Hydra. Let's go back top lane. Of course, the more ideal way would be actually bot lane, but we already have jungle there. I'll use the portal. Wait, I am not going bot lane yet. Nocturne is doing something. I can fix it. Very good. These old bones have you know what makes me especially happy this game? It's the fact that we um, we got a Yumi. So my bot lane's been having a terrible time early game, but Back it's also you know we have a Yumi. That's what matters. Like with Yumi. It's to be expected that your bot lane loses early game. Uh, Yumi is a really bad early game, but she uh, she's OP in the late game. Dude, I just want to get that full wave. Push next one. Again, whole enemy team is missing. They can't all be top lane right now as we speak. And I think they are, actually. Yep. They're down. Uh, uh, also, Ash is going to go down here. Whoops. Could have had like an extra auto reset. My jungle game got stolen again! Feels bad, man. Uh, I'm not catching him. All my jungle camps that I'm taking this game, they're getting stolen away. <laughs> my strategy, man, it's not working anymore. I'll pick up the wave that comes here. So I can be efficient that we go back in uh, on, on blue. Warriors, 
I don't think we're getting that blue buff. It's very unlikely, to be honest. Yeah, it's already taken, I, I guess. Tom Kench is too tanky right now. Well, the end of the world isn't gonna stop A little bit too up. much. That takes a long time. Yeah. That was fun. Really, everything is walking away from me. <laughs> okay, that was a super nice two versus whatever it was. Two versus four, I guess. Turned that stuff around. They didn't know I was going to turn on the bush. And that blue buff is also ours. They're stealing it. Again, they're stealing the camps, dude. I'm not able to take it. Yeah, going for a team fight is a mistake. I have so much gold that I can't use. I don't know if he's ulting for me specifically. Hey, but you got a jungle camp stolen away. It's not getting stolen from me for once. <laughs> It's better to ignore that Drake, there's no way of getting it. Too much gold. I like 4,000 gold, that's the thing, I can't team fight. I have too much. But I also can't reset yet because we're taking important objectives right here. I've already got my uh, thing that I was looking for. Whoops. Still can't reset. Can't do it yet. Yeah, goodbye. Very well done. I have 5,280 gold. Well, actually 5,370. I can never reset. I, I had to take the tower. I had to take the red buff. I had to fight like two versus four because it was just getting forced on me. Like 5,395. Unbelievable. That's way too much. <laughs> I could never buy anything. Well, now I can. Let's go, dude. This is going to... We're going to have a blast now. Check it out. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna like this one. Now these guys are all full AD. They have no AP on their team. So typically, I would actually go Sterx Cage. Sterx Cage is super OP this game, but we are going for Death Stance. This, this is the, the best item we can buy. Literally, it's nothing better than this dude. Let's go. Okay, let's go. We are completely unkillable right now. At least we still need to complete it. I'm 
the sky, shall we? Let's go for that fight. Perhaps I think we can steal the charm can. No. We need to prioritize the Baron. Nothing there? Wait a second. Uh, we just go back top lane. I'm not gonna go mid, there's no real objective in mid. Four hundred fifty to go. I'm side stepping. We can fight this. I need to get a mash. Dude, my E was like two seconds, man. I could have, I could have easily beaten everybody. I'm not even kidding, dude. Was so close to my E right there. Unfortunate. I felt like that was gonna be a penta for me. I just needed my E. That's it. <clears throat> Okay, we will retry again. Let me check who did the most. So it's actually Ash and uh, Talon. All right, let's go for more armor. Typically, I like to go for Sunder Sky. I think I could still do that, by the way. Or Steric Gauge. I guess he still can. You can just steal that red buff again before they do. Nice. We have a problem with the Drake. Hey, I guess we have to go for another one, uh, two versus five. Two seconds. Well, what? Where's that guy? Huh? Where did he disappear off to? Where did that guy fly to? I think I might keep that uh, dragon standing so we can force another team fight doing that. I'm gonna let that dragon stay on purpose so that we can team fight again. Can I also steal blue buff? Okay, let's get that a quick reset before they get to Drake. Forget about the Sterex Gage, I'm gonna go Sandroid Sky. Yeah, I've got the Yomi attached. Should be a good team fight, by the way. Has to be. Dude, I can see them. Gotta keep limber in my Thank you. Next. Yep, got him too. Oh, 
Well, I can catch him. I'm, I'm fast enough. Yep. Two thousand gold. I can buy some of this guy right now. Doesn't jump him then. Okay, uh, let's complete my build. Uh, before we do, still a few more. Okay, let's complete my build. Nice, let the the two versus five begin, bro. Jax and Yumi combined. Full build. There's no way I can lose. I've I have so much ability haze. My my E is like five seconds. <laughs> Good luck. Have fun. tank for a while. Where's the other guy? <laughs> yeah, this guy's up. Yep. Got another one. I love how it's like standing under uh, tower. Basically taking no damage. Can I, can, should I try get a Penta here? Should I give it a try? I'll try and get a Penta. <laughs> I, I wanna try a two versus five this one. Oh, my teammates are finishing the game anyways. Okay. Ah, oh, my teammates don't give me a choice The two versus five. Feels bad, man. Couldn't get my chance. Hey, either way, this is Jack's Top. Thank you so much for watching today's Jack's video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.